Well, students across central Indiana are going to be taking the I-STEP exam soon. Today, we've got five ways to get your child ready and reduce their level of stress as they take that all-important I-STEP exam. Renee Aziz is an Indiana-based certified school psychologist. It's great to have you here today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So how do you recognize that a child is anxious about taking the I-STEP? Very important question, Scott. And there are many ways that anxiety can show up, but we should really be looking for changes in our students. And so those can be, are they having more difficulty concentrating or paying attention? Are they sad or grumpy or irritable? Or are they extra clingy? It could also be changes in their appetite or even sleep patterns. So anything that's different about your child might be a sign for and you. And you say this not only as a psychologist, but also as the mother of two kids two that of have, them have been dealing have been with this. Through right? it, yes. So you, you say that anxiety is a real issue. What, yeah. do you, what do you mean by that? I mean, I think that's really important for as parents for us to really think about because all of us have anxiety at some point. And so we can sometimes tend to minimize how important and serious it can be. So when our kids are just struggling to, about this I-STEP, they're not unmotivated, they're not lazy. Those symptoms and experiences they're having are true issues that they're dealing with. Okay, so many of these kids are gonna be taking I-STEP beginning next week. Right. What can parents do this weekend and next week to reduce the level of stress and help uh, prepare their students. Perfect. So three important things. First of all, monitor your own behavior. Avoid being overly critical of the process. I mean, our kids are hearing all the news stories about ISTEP, but they're also watching us. And so we want to make sure that we're not sending unintentional messages that create more anxiety for our students. A second thing is to really help our children prepare mentally for what they're about to partake in. And so we need to be practicing with them relaxation techniques like visualization or positive self-talk or even some deep breathing so that it can, those things can be automatic mm -hmm. when they're in the moment and feeling stressed. But the last and probably most important thing that we can do as parents is to praise and acknowledge our students. That's always important, but especially right now, we want our children to feel good. When they feel good, they're going to do great. And so the night before the test and even the morning, we want to make sure we're sending them off feeling very mm -hmm. positive about what they're able to do. I imagine good diet and plenty of sleep ahead of oh, the test is Goes without saying. To... Sure, all those things are, are super important. Yeah, Renee Aziz, uh, thanks so much for the help and yeah. uh, good luck to your student at home as well. Thank you. All right, Appreciate very good. it.